let me go to the next example where I want to show you how the insert row works. So let's say I want to add up computers and home appliances. I just go here and in the insert section, instead of columns, I'm going to go to row. And then there are a few options here. So uh, remember in the insert formula, we only had a visual measure or a visual column. But here, when I click on a calculated row, I can do, let's say, uh, average of uh, computers and then let's say home appliances. And then I'm just going to go and click on create. Okay, so I have an average of computers and audio. But one thing that it noticed is when I create something like this, I don't want this rolled up into the totals. So I have an option called include in total, which if it were included, it's going to increase. And again, uh, Info River is automatically scaling up here. And that's why it's showing up 2.66. You can actually go, in, go and set it up to fixed scaling, but I'm not doing it right now. But what I wanted to tell you is, um, you have the option to include certain things in the total uh, or not include them in the total. For example, uh, in an income statement, if you're creating a separate row for calculating gross margin, you don't want it added up into the total. Whereas here, if you forgot to add a separate category, and if you're manually adding it, you want it to be reflected in the total. So it gives you the option to whether to include or not include that in the total. Now, uh, the other thing is I can also go and insert a new types of rows. Again, once you close and come back, you will notice that it shows one count under manage row. And I can just go and hide this particular row. You don't necessarily have to delete it or I can permanently delete it, or I can go and edit it once again. And again, everything that I'm showing you happens at the visual level. There is no change whatsoever uh, to your data model. Now, let me show you another type of uh, row, but there is also uh, another type of row called static row. A static row is where um, I can go and enter values manually, right? For uh, example, so let me also add the grand totals here, right? So let's say I want to see the grand total of the column on the left. So uh, I'll just touch upon something right here, but I'm not going to explain this in detail. For example, A is going to be, let's say, 10 million. And you see what it does. Even though you insert values at a grand total level, it automatically breaks it down. And again, this row is meant to be entered manually. We are not using any kind of formula to like, you know, for example, the compute, the average of computers and audio, like how we entered here. So here we are only entering values manually, but I don't want this default uh, distribution, which distributes values equally. Maybe for this category, I want to mimic, let's say, uh, how the values are in home appliances, right? For example, sales is 0.74 in France and 4.55. Yeah, maybe I want to split this in proportion to home appliances in which case I can click on this and then say, hey, I want to distribute this and we are distributing sales right now. So I want to distribute by sales as how we have the distribution has happened under home appliances, right? So automatically it's going to break down this in the same proportion as this. And uh, again, just so you know, uh, I can go and uh, just update the title. So I can just call it, let's say new category. And then, uh, so you can also go and change the row header and it gets updated here. And uh, similarly, I also have a percentage contribution row. For example, what happens is when I insert this, okay, I insert an empty row right here, not percentage contribution. And especially when you want to format your tables with a blank row in between, so you won't be able to go and enter values here. You won't be use a formula, but it's just for a cleaner layout. You can go and insert uh, empty rows, you know, here and there in your report. Now, let me go and insert a percentage contribution row. So basically what it does is it calculates audio as a percentage of total, right? Which is basically 0.75 divided by 30, which is almost 2.41 uh, percentage, right? So these are somewhat pretty much similar to the quick formula and aggregation. Uh, this is already percentage contribution is already prepackaged. Now we covered calculated row, static row, percentage contribution row, and empty row. We are left with only one thing, which is basically the insert template row. So let's say I have a lot of these products, product categories, juices, mineral water, soda, sparkling water. And for each product, I'm tracking the PNL, right? There is a PNL hierarchy that repeats itself across multiple products. And usually when you change the PNL structure, 
when you have let's say 200 product categories it's not going to be easy to go and update every structure right so let's say i want to insert a calculation let me go to operating expenses insert insert row and then i'm inserting a template row and i'm just going to do let's say gross profit divided by um, two right i'm just entering a random calculation and because it's a template row so let's say gp by two i'm just giving it a random name and it's going to calculate the gross profit divided by two and uh, which is basically 1.3 billion divided by two and it's going to do that so basically it inserts a row into a predefined structure but it repeats it across uh, structures so again so that you know when your pnl template changes you don't have to make the same change in 200 places so it's a lot easier to work with it uh, this way